pipe here. So Winthrop, I think, uh, enjoyed March quite a bit in the uh, in the last like decade or decade and a half. Um, when you think of uh, Winthrop basketball and March Madness, you know what kind of memories come to your mind? I think about the uh, the the joy that we had as a team and being able to uh, win and do it the right way. Um, I think about the fans that, that supported us along the way and not just getting to that part. Uh, I think about my parents uh, coming there. But ultimately, I think about getting to that point, that pinnacle of basketball and saying, hey, we did this, and now we're going to be able to showcase our talents across the entire nation. And who knows, you may be on TV uh, doing a dance or, or shooting a shot or even have a chance to, to make a, a top ten top 10 sports center play or something so right and uh you and uh like tyson waterman some of these other guys were kind of at the the, the, be the beginning of that run with with greg marshall that sort of set up this um legacy at winthrop so how does it feel to to look back now and, and see that um you guys kind of set the tone oh uh, man it's, it's so enjoyable uh just knowing that you had a part in that and even just being greg marshall's first recruit i really feel the obligation and the the pride in it to say hey we started this thing. It wasn't one person. Um, but we sit back. We, we always get together and we talk about, man, what happened it is. You know, some things that we can't even say. It's like, man, you remember that time when Marshall, I came back um, from spring break, and I didn't have to practice. He said, would you sit there and uh, would, would, a, would a real Division One player sit there and not get better? And he made me think about it. I was like, you know what, let me go get my shoes. So I, I we really sit back and we love and cherish uh, all the success that Winthrop has had. So.